Hey guys, so as you probably know, RAM unveiled the 1500 TRX, which has the massive 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 under the hood, aka Hellcat powered. As that truck has 702 horsepower, it led me to research the fastest and most powerful production trucks and see where the RAM 1500 TRX fell on the list. So that's what we're doing today, looking at the top 11 production trucks as ranked by their 0 to 60 and quarter mile times. And for each one, we'll also take a look at its different features and other performance specs. Also, for some clarifications, all the performance times are taken from the website 0to60times.com. There may be some slight discrepancies depending on where you look, but I use that website. And all the models are the American versions, including the pricing in US dollars. There is going to be one exception. I also tried to not include the same truck twice. So, for example, there were two generations of the Ford SVT Lightning, there was a Ram SRT10 regular cab and quad cab, and so on. I think I've got everything correct, but let me know if you do think I missed something. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. The fastest Chevy truck that I could find was the 2015 and up Silverado 1500 High Country Crew Cab 4x4, but with the rest of the competition here, that's only good enough to come in a three-way tie for last on today's list. The naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 is found under the hood, and that was the largest engine offered in a half ton pickup until Ram threw a Hellcat engine into their 1500 with that TRX. The 6.2 liter is exclusive to the LTZ and high country models, and it packs 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. So that's good enough for a 0 to 60 time of 5.7 seconds and a quarter mile time in 14.1 seconds. You can even get a tow rating as high as 12,200 pounds with this engine, but it has been criticized for being felt, but not heard as well as some of the other V8s that are offered on the market. The 6.2 is paired with a 10-speed automatic. The truck looks great as well, with a lower ride height, optional 22-inch wheels with 275-50-22 tires, and a nice balance of chrome and plastic trim. But the major problem was with the interior, which many reviewers called the worst in its class. And for a price tag of over $60,000, there's only a bit of leather, chrome, and fake wood, and not much else. If you contrast that with the other trucks on the market, the interior just isn't luxurious or high-end at all, though it is functional with multiple storage areas. But still, it's crazy to think that the slowest of the bunch can do 0-60 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. As I said, the Silverado was in a three-way tie, so one of the other trucks is the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Crew Cab 4x4. Apart from some design changes and branding, this is the same truck as the Silverado, so it does have the same 6.2 liter V8 and identical performance as well, 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. The Sierra is known for being a bit more luxurious than the Silverado, where the Silverado is branded as a more affordable truck, but both of them share many of the same features. The $67,000 price tag on this Sierra highlights that luxury premium. Now there are a few firsts that separate this GMC from the Chevy. So it's the first pickup with a six-way adjustable tailgate, the first rear camera mirror in its class, first full-color heads-up display, first carbon fiber bed, and more. The Sierra relies on cylinder deactivation for saving gas with 17 different combinations, but you can't really feel them working. Again, despite its luxurious attempts, the interior falls short and leaves a lot to be desired. So the third truck to share the 0-60 to and quarter mile times of 5.7 and 14.1 seconds would be the Ford F-150 Super Crew with the 5.0-liter V8 and 4x4. For this 13th generation of the F-Series, Ford offered 5 V6s and just one V8 engine, that being the 5.0-liter Coyote V8. So this 5.0 is standard on the Platinum and King Ranch trims, both costing well over $50,000. For 2018, it got some upgrades, improving performance to 395 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, also paired with a 10-speed automatic. These 2018s underwent a mid-cycle model revision, taking several design features from the Super Duty model line, like an octagonal grille, wide two-bar configuration, embossed F-150 emblem on the tailgate, and backup camera standard. Unlike Chevy and GMC though, Ford will appear again higher up on this list. The first Ram on this list is going to be the 2015 Ram 1500 RT with the Hemi and in regular cab configuration. This was based on the mid-level sport trim, available in rear-wheel drive, standard cab with a 6 foot 4 box. It looks like a proper muscle truck in my opinion, as it kind of ditches the luxury for a brawny visual. It's also worth noting that you couldn't just walk in the dealer and order an RT, but the truck would automatically become an RT if you got the V8, rear-wheel drive, standard cab, and short bed. And pricing for such a setup starts at $36,225, and it was also available in various other years. At the time, this was the closest thing you could get to an SRT RAM. 
Now, Ram has been putting a variation of this Hemi in these trucks for quite some time, and there are going to be some faster 1500s with some different engines that we'll look at later on in the video. But with all these improvements and advancements, this was the fastest one I could find with the big 5.7. So that V8 produces 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, and this 2015 got an 8-speed automatic with a 3.92 to 1 rear axle ratio. Even though the curb weight was a hefty 5,106 pounds, 0 to 60 still happens in just 5.4 seconds, and the quarter mile in 14.1 seconds, with a governed top speed of 106 miles per hour. Still got some good work numbers, like a payload of 1,380 pounds, and towing of over 5,000 pounds. The RT also comes with tons of features standard, like a limited slip differential, 26 gallon fuel tank, rear view camera, 8.4 inch touchscreen, heated steering wheel, and chrome 22 inch wheels. The Ford SVT Lightning is next, and this was a sports slash performance version of the F-150 developed by the Special Vehicle Team Division of Ford. The first Lightning was available from 1993 to 1995, and after a three-year hiatus it was back for 1999, based on the stock F-150 frame to save weight. The second gen Lightning was powered by a 5.4 liter Triton single overhead cam V8 with an Eaton M112 supercharger. At launch it was a bit less powerful, but the numbers did increase to 380 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque after 2001, hence why I'm using the 2002 and up figures. The supercharged V8 was made into a 4-speed overdrive automatic transmission. And once these upgrades were all completed, the 2002 and up Lightnings could do 0-60 to 60 in 5.2 seconds and the quarter mile in 13.8 seconds. Other improvements included having the truck lowered by 1 inch, along with a 31mm stabilizer bar up front and 23mm in the back, Bilstein shocks from 02 to 04, 18 inch wheels with Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, a limited slip differential, and unique front fascia and upper and lower grills. Next up, after a two year hiatus, the Ford F-150 Raptor was back for the 2017 model year, starting at a base price of around $53,000. Gone was the V8 powertrain, replaced by a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and a 10 speed automatic transmission, which made it the first non-commercial vehicle of any kind with a 10 speed. Power was still there, with 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque, good for a 0-60 to 60 in just 5.1 seconds, and the quarter mile in 13.9 seconds, along with a top speed of 108 miles per hour and a 6,000 pound towing capacity. To this day, the Raptor remains one of the most capable trucks on and off the road, with features like a trail control low speed control, electronically controlled Fox shock absorbers that continuously adjust the damping in real time, 13 inch front and 13.9 inch rear wheel travel, a widened track over the F-150, and 35 inch all-terrain tires on 17 inch wheels. The body is mostly aluminum, and this time around Ford replaced their blue oval logo with a large Ford printed grille instead. Offered in both Super Cab and Super Crew configurations, the Raptor now battles the Ram 1500 TRX as of late 2020, as those are pretty much the top two competitors in this segment of trucks that can go very fast in a straight line, as well as have extreme off-road capabilities. It's also worth noting that Ford will probably up the ante on the Raptor shortly, as they've now released a new 14th generation for their F-Series. Moving on, the Dodge Ram SRT10 was a one-of-a-kind pickup with a Chrysler 8.3 liter V10 under the hood, and it had a production run from 2004 to 2006. So that engine produced 500 horsepower and 525 pound-feet of torque, the same output as a Viper Roadster. The SRT10 was available in regular or quad cab, regular cab with a 6-speed manual, and quad cab with a 4-speed automatic. Of course, the numbers were slightly better for the regular cab, 0-60 to 60 in 4.9 seconds and the quarter mile in 13.6 seconds, while the quad cab did 0-60 to 60 in 5.3 seconds and the quarter mile in 13.7 seconds. That was extremely impressive, considering the regular cab had a curb weight of 5,130 pounds and the quad cab was over 5,600 pounds. The designers also made the truck look phenomenal, with a honeycomb grille hood scoop, Viper powered badging, large chrome SRT10 logos, a spoiler, and 22 inch Viper wheels. Beneath the wheels were four piston calipers with 15 inch front rotors and 14 inches in the rear. Bilstein shock absorbers and performance tuned springs lowered the ram by 1 inches up front and 2.5 inches in the rear, and a fifth shock was added on the rear axle to prevent wheel hop during wheel spin. Dodge also added nine different colors, ranging from reserved to flamboyant, like Flame Red, Yellow Fever, and Inferno Red, as well as a few special editions, like the Viper Club of America and Night Runner. 
As for another fun fact, the SRT10, driven by NASCAR driver Brendan Gaughan, set a Guinness World Record and Sports Car Club of America record for the world's fastest production truck with an average speed of 154.587 miles per hour in July of 2004. And after three years and 10,046 SRT10s produced, the truck was gone forever. This next one is such an oddball that less than 50 people bought them each year, and that would be the Vauxhall VXR8 Malou in the United Kingdom, or the Holden Ute down under in Australia. These were based on the VXR8, which was a performance vehicle under Vauxhall, and that was out from 2007 to 2017. However, this Malou was released just for 2012 and 2013 as a two-seater, 16.4-foot V8 pickup truck. The price was an astounding 51,500 pounds, which translates to 67,500 US dollars. But you did get the LS3 6.2 liter V8, which was shared with the Corvette C6 and Camaro SS. That made 425 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque, and was mated to a six-speed manual transmission with a limited slip differential. And that's good for zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds, and can hit a top speed of 155 miles per hour. This truck has rave reviews, weighted steering, sensitive brakes, a comfortable ride, and very nice features like launch control and performance pages. The only thing is that it's not a mainstream vehicle, so most people would opt for a regular sports car instead at a better price point. At the time it was introduced, the Cyclone was the quickest stock pickup in the world and could compete with Corvettes and Ferraris. This was an interesting vehicle, but it wasn't a huge success, selling 2,998 for one year in 1991, and then it was gone forever. The Cyclone featured a Mitsubishi turbocharger and Garrett water and air intercooler attached to the 4.3 liter LB4 V6 engine, with many parts taken from the 5.7 liter GM small block engine. That was paired with a 4L60 four-speed automatic transmission and a Borg Warner all-wheel drive transfer case with 3565 torque split. That engine produced 280 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque, but the performance was honestly astounding for the time. New Cyclones could do 0-60 to 60 in 4.6 seconds and run a quarter mile in 13.4 seconds at 98 miles per hour. GM was aiming to make this GMC the sporty companion to Chevy at the time, hence vehicles like the Cyclone. The problem with this thing was its usefulness. How practical was a pickup truck that had a payload of only 500 pounds and could only tow 2,000 pounds? The all-wheel drive system, low ride height, and low profile tires really compromised its ability to be a good pickup truck and go off-road, and reviewers said that this was a truck for urban cowboys who wanted something that looked cool and went like hell, but didn't actually need a truck. GMC even actively discouraged owners from taking it off the pavement with a warning label on the sun visor. So for those reasons, the truck never really caught on, and its brother, the Typhoon, only lasted for one generation as well. However, it's impossible to deny the novelty and wow factor of the Cyclone. Now we move on to the 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. If you do want all the details on this truck, make sure to check my last video in the top right corner, but I'll go over the basics once again here. So one of the key selling points of the vehicle is the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 under the hood, aka the Hellcat engine. And for this truck, it makes 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque with a maximum boost pressure of 11 PSI. So that means a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds, quarter mile in 12.9 seconds, and top speed of 118 miles per hour. So that puts it second on this list of fastest pickup trucks. That's all paired with the ZF Heavy Duty 8-speed automatic transmission. So at the current moment, those stats make the TRX the quickest, fastest, and most powerful production truck in the world. Of course, it's technically number two on the list behind the truck that we'll go over soon. So you can actually find a truck with a slightly faster 0-60 to 60 time than this one, which is really insane. The impressive thing is that the TRX wasn't really built to go in a straight line, but also to conquer off-road environments. So it's designed to handle rough terrain at 100 miles per hour plus. There's too much to list in this video, a 2.5 inch lift, Bill Stein Blackhawk E2 performance shocks, a proprietary active terrain dynamic system, electronic locking differential, five skid plates, four tow hooks, and tons of other options. Even the tires had to be custom designed. Goodyear Wrangler Territory tires developed exclusively for the TRX because nothing else on the market would fit. The interior is very luxurious, including red detailing, carbon fiber trim, hand-wrapped leather instrument panel, suede seats, deeper side bolsters, flat bottom SRT steering wheel, and a heads-up display and paddle shifters for the first time ever in a Ram. And don't forget about performance pages, off-road pages, six dynamic drive modes, and launch control. The only downside to this truck is that it's by far the most expensive on today's list. 
starting with an MSRP of $72,000 before add-ons and dealer markups. So now we move on to the King, the quickest accelerating truck ever tested thus far, and that's the 2008 to 2015 Toyota Tundra with the TRD supercharger kit. The higher level Tundra models, either the TR5 or Limited, came with the 5.7 liter V8 engine with an already beastly 381 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque. Toyota then introduced the supercharger to compete with the other regular cab sport trucks, like for example, the Lightning or Ram SRT10. Basically, you could start with a TR5 or limited model with the 5.7, which costs north of $35,000 depending on the model, and then you add the bolt-on TRD supercharger kit for $5,875, bringing your total to at least around $42,000. This kit features Eaton's TVS Roots Type Supercharger, which uses twin four-lobe rotors, and that's a design that's shared with the Toyota TRD Orion, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, and Cadillac CTS-V. With that supercharger, power output increased to 504 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque. So the tested 0-60 to 60 time on the website was 4.4 seconds and a 13-second quarter mile at 106.3 miles per hour. So it's a tenth of a second faster 0-60 to 60 than the Ram 1500 TRX and a tenth of a second slower in the quarter mile. So I guess you could argue which one's faster, but I gave it to the Toyota because of the 0-60. to 60. So at the time in 2008, that not only stomped on all the other trucks, but was faster than many other cars, including the Mustang GT, Challenger SRT8, Jaguar XFSC, Audi S5, BMW 135i, and Porsche Carrera S, just to name a few. Again, extremely impressive for a truck. So the best part was, as long as the Toyota dealership installed it, your existing warranty remained intact. There were other factory options to be had as well, not just the engine. So there's a $1,065 dual exhaust system, $2,795 big brake kit with cross-drilled rotors and six-piston calipers, $4,700 22-inch TRD wheels, performance-tuned front and rear shocks, and a new anti-roll bar. So that meant more power both going forward and stopping, with a drop of 2 inches up front and 2.5 inches in the back. And again, all these options were factory performance parts installed through a dealer, so you know what you're getting is legit. After 2015, the TRD supercharger was discontinued, meaning that the 2015 model year is the last year that has an official TRD ECU reflash available. So that's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you had as much fun as I did going through all these really fast and powerful performance trucks. Which truck was your favorite? Let me know down in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.